Ante Gese Hex Dies Solemnis Pasque Quando Veni Dominus. In Civitatem Jerusalem Ocere Rund Ei Puveri. Et in Mahanibus Portabunt Ramos Palmarum Et Clamabunt Voce Magnisticentes. Ozan in excelsis, benedictus qui venisti in multitudine misericordiae tuve. Gloria a Patria Filio, et Spiritu Hui Sancto. Si hicuterat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculo horum. Amen. In nomine Patris et Pilit Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Dominus Pobiscum, et cum Spiritu Tuo. Fratres, agniscamus spicata nostra, ut aptissimus et sacra misteria celebranda. Confitio Dei Onipotenti, Id bobis fratres, qui apicabin imis, qui citatione verbo opere domicione, mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Id io precorbiata Maria semper virginem, omnes angelos et sanctos, et bos fratres, orare pro mea dominum Deum nostrum. Miseriator nostri onipotens Deus, e demisis picatis nostris, perducat nos ad vitam eternam. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christi eleison, Christi eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Oremus. Almighty ever-living God, you have given the human race Jesus Christ, our Savior, as a model of humility. He fulfilled your will by becoming man and giving his life on the cross. Help to bear witness to you by following his example of suffering and make us worthy to share in his resurrection. Per Dominum Nosum Jesum Christum Plium Tuum. In unitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lexio Libri se profete. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, He opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. Verbum Domini Deo gratias. Deus, Deus meus, quare me dere liquisti. All who see me scoff at me. They mock me with parted lips. They wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he loves him. Deus, Deus meus, quare me dere liquisti. Indeed, many dogs surround me. A pack of evildoers closes in upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count on my bones. Deus, Deus meus, quare me dere liquisti. They divide my garments among them, and from my vesture they cast thoughts. 
but you, O Lord, be not far from me. O my help, hasten to aid me. Deus, Deus meus, quare me dere liquisti. I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. O the descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revere him, O the descendants of Israel. Deus, Deus meus, quare me dere liquisti. Lexia Pisidibiate Pauli Apostoli ad Philippenses. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Verbum Domini, Deo gratias. Laus tibi Christe, rex eterne gloriae. Laus tibi Christe, rex eterne gloriae. Christus factus est pro nobis obediens usque ad mortem mortem autem crucis, propter quare Deus exaltavit illum, et dedit illi nomen, quare super omne nomen. Laus tibi Christe, rex eterne gloriae. Dominus pobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo. Passione Iesu Christi secundum Matteum. Gloria tibi, Domine. Jesus stood before the governor Pontius Pilate who questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You say so. And when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they are testifying against you? But he did not answer him one word, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, the governor was accustomed to release to the crowd one prisoner whom they wished. And at that time they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas, so, when they had assembled, Pilate said to them, Which one of you do you want me to release? Barabbas or Jesus Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had handed him over. While he was still seated on the bench, his wife sent him a message. Have nothing to do with that righteous man. I suffered much in a dream today because of him. The chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowds to ask for Barabbas, but to destroy Jesus. The governor said to them in reply, which of the two do you want me to release to you? They answered, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. But he said, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw, that he was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out instead, 
he took water and washed his hands in the sight of the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it yourselves. And the whole people said in reply, His blood be upon us and upon our children. Then he released Barabbas to them. But after he had Jesus scourged, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat upon him and took the reed and kept striping him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him off to crucify him. As they were going out, they met a Serenian named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry his cross. When they came to the place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall. But when he had tasted it, he refused to drink. After they had crucified him, they divided his garments by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And they placed over his head the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, and come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him and said, He saved others. He cannot save himself. So he is the King of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusted in God. To him deliver him now, if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. The revolutionaries who were crucified with him also kept abusing him in the same way. From noon onwards, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And about three o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Lema Sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, This one is calling for Elijah. Immediately one of them ran to get a sponge. He soaked it in wine and putting it on the reed, gave it to him to drink. But the rest said, Wait, let us see if Elijah comes to save him. But Jesus cried out again in a loud voice and gave up his spirit. Let us kneel. And behold, the veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The earthquake 
rocks were split, tombs were opened, and the bodies of many saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming forth from their tombs after his resurrection, they entered the holy city and appeared to many. The centurions and the men with him who were keeping watch over Jesus feared greatly when they saw the earthquake and all that was happening. And they said, Truly, this was the Son of God. Verbum Domini, Laus Divi Christi. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta te mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tu, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus. Nungit in ora motis nostre. Amen. Maria Auxilium Christianorum, ora pro nobis. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Matthew 29.9 My face I did not shield with buffets and spitting knowing that I shall not be put to shame. Isaiah 50, verse 6. And Christ humbled himself, and because of this, God greatly exalted him. Philippians 2, 9. The Jews thought that the Messiah would be a man of authority, like King David, who would annihilate his enemies by the power of the sword, back up by a strong army. They forgot that Jesus' mission as Messiah is to free us from evil enslavement, save us from sin, and triumphantly enter the kingdom of God, which is the new Jerusalem, the spouse of Christ. Satan, being a spiritual, preternatural being, cannot be defeated by any human being. He is the same devil who tempted our first parents to violate God's commandments. And is the same devil that has bewitched the Jews to choose the eternal kingdom of Lucifer. Being a spiritual enemy, we need a stronger supernatural being, Jesus Christ to overcome Satan and his minions. Because of the wrong concept of the Jews of a, of a military savior or messiah, they were not ready to accept the triumphant entry of the true savior, Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. To fight and win against Satan, Jesus used love as his spiritual weapon to defeat Satan. Jesus gave us this love, his life on the cross, to ransom mankind from sin, death, and Satan. As it is written in 1 John chapter 4, verse 11, this is God's love, not man's love. He sent his only begotten Son, he sent His only begotten Son to ransom us from sin. Now to win our final battle here on earth, we cannot use merely human skill or swords or spears because Satan is a pure spirit. Many of us are fearful to love unto death because we only know human and psychological love not God's love, which says to give one's life for one's friends. That is why when persecution comes, even some of us priests who had been ordained to take care of the sheepfold would abandon our flock, leaving them scattered and at the mercy of ravenous wolves. Yes, it is sad to say that even some of us priests are not ready 
to receive Christ's redemptive love because it demands the sacrifice of our life. Majority of Catholic countries boast of their faith only by their numbers. But how many truly understand and practice their faith because they believe in what it demands, much less for whom they stand for? We have countries like Italy, Spain, France, Portugal, Ireland, in Europe, the whole of Latin America, the Philippines in Asia, that are predominantly Catholics. But they are only sacramentalized, not catechized Catholics. If they know and truly understand their faith, then these countries who were once bastion of the Catholic faith would not be among the hardliners and promoters of divorce and remarriage, abortion and contraception, liberation theology and Marxist ideology, and now new age and esoteric practices. In the readings of today, we see an image of the true shepherd who will not abandon his flock even if it meant being killed for saving their souls. Today's Palm Sunday celebration marks the triumphant entry of Jesus in Jerusalem. It heralds his triumph over sin, death, and Satan that has enslaved mankind for more than 4,000 years after the fall of Adam and Eve. His triumphant entry as King of the Jews announces his victory against the greatest enemy of his kingdom. Lucifer. There is therefore a great reason why everyone in Jerusalem should rejoice, because finally their long suffering here on earth, and even after life in the limbo, has come to an end. They could at last enter the kingdom of God, the real eternal promised land. The great price of redemption, however, will be precious blood of Jesus, who out of love will ransom fallen humanity from their sins imprisoned by Satan in his kingdom. The cult or ass on which Jesus rode was a sign of everlasting peace. Jesus is called the Prince of Peace. Jesus entered Jerusalem in meekness and in humility as a messianic king who offers victory and peace to his people. He was the victor who brought everlasting peace to his passion, death, and resurrection during the time of the Passover. St. Augustine the Great highlights the significance of Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. He is seen as the master of humility and humbled himself and became obedient even unto death, even death on the cross. Jesus did not lose his divinity when he taught us humility. Christ was king of Israel, but he was not a political king who imposed taxes and commanded armies. He was rather the king of Israel who was enthroned in the hearts and minds of his people. He gave the gifts of faith, hope, and love, which led them to the kingdom of heaven. St. Augustine explained that in becoming the king of Israel, Jesus submitted to condescension since he was the Son of God and equal to the Father. This was definitely not a show of power on his part, as John 51, verse 3 to 4 says, but rather an expression of pity. Jesus is the true King who offers peace, joy, and everlasting life for those who accept his kingship. It is now time to ask ourselves, have I welcomed the King of glory into my heart? and home. There were several paradoxes that concerned the coming of the prophesied Messiah. 
The Jews, headed by the chief priests and Pharisees, had long been preparing for the coming of Messiah. On Jesus' arrival, however, they were not ready to welcome him into their hearts and homes. The apostles, on the other hand, who were not ready for the Messiah's coming, had the privilege of being taught and prepared by Christ himself. Through his death and resurrection, they learned to believe in his victory through the glory of the cross. It is ironic that animals and other creatures who were not in need of redemption were even more reverent in welcoming the King of glory. They accompanied him throughout his public ministry and even up to his death. The donkey had Jesus ride on its back as the king rode into Jerusalem for a triumphant entry. The palm branches also wave in praise and lay prostrate before him. Everyone, therefore, who is ready to follow Christ and carry his cross daily without complaint and in the spirit of reparation is ready to receive the King of glory. For as St. Paul said in Romans 8, 17, if you share the cross of Christ, you will also share the glory of his resurrection. The martyrdom of St. Peter Yu Tai Chol is a true example of a soul ready to receive the triumphant entry of the Messiah. Born in Korea during a time when Christian persecution was rampant, Peter Yu Tai Choi was inspired by the example of his parents who were martyred for the Catholic faith. He wanted to join them soon, and when the opportunity came, he bravely faced the police who tortured him severely for refusing to renounce his Catholic faith. The police beat so hard this 13-year-old boy that all his flesh nearly came off from his bones. Repeatedly, he was told to renounce his faith. But young Peter Yu Tai Chol, joyfully and aided by the Holy Spirit and the Blessed Virgin Mary, strongly refused. Finally, it was the police who pleaded with him, Young man, please renounce your faith for I have no more strength to beat you because I am totally exhausted. Another policeman tried to beat him even harder and reasoned with him because Peter Yu Tai Chol was just too young to suffer death from torture. What St. Peter did was to even detach one of the hanging flesh from his legs and threw it at the police, yelling and said, are you a coward afraid to persecute me? Go ahead. I have nothing against you. I forgive you for doing your duty. I have within me God Jesus, who makes me strong to bear all your cruel torture. He's stronger than you and your God. Jesus is protecting me. In spite of all the torture, Peter Yu Tai Chol still remain alive. He continued to taunt his executioners. You have not done your job yet. I am still alive, he said. Angered, the police placed him inside a metal drum filled with water and drowned the young boy instead. The earth, animals, and plants were ready to accept the victorious entry of the King of Glory, who is also the Messiah, what about you and me? That is why we need to be vigilant, always watchful and ready for the coming of the King of Kings, just like the five wise virgins, so that when Jesus the Messiah comes, we will know it is Him. Vigilant means remaining always in the state of grace. Now that you are deprived of the regular reception of the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, the Mass, and Confession. It is all the more important 
to be conscious of not to commit any sin, especially mortal sin, as one mortal sin brings us to hell. What can you do then if this lockdown continues and going to confession and the Mass would not be possible for months? The Blessed Virgin Mary was sent by God as the last weapon of heaven in the final battle between God and the devil. He gave us the means to be ready for Christ's second coming so that we will not deny Him like the Jews or the apostles who fled in fear and left Jesus when persecution came. The Blessed Mother gave us the rosary and devotion and consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary with its four elements to live a sinless and grace-filled life. Confession, Adoration, Rosary, and the Eucharistic Sacrifice of the Mass. Pray, then, as many rosaries as you can now, and practice the life of consecration and reparation every day until this pandemic crisis is over, so that when Christ comes again in glory, like the five wise virgins who remain vigilant in prayer and doing good works, you will be received and brought by Him into heaven. St. Teresa of Babila said that when she was in heaven, she realized that just by praying one Hail Mary will raise you up one rank in heaven. So she wanted the sisters, the Carmelite, to pray as much rosary as possible. I know it is hard. Holy Week is already upon us. But pray for the miracle that you can still go to confession any one of these days and receive Jesus in the Mass. God answers the cry of fervent souls. A humbled, contrite heart, He will not spurn. And when this miracle happens, remain in the state of grace, guard it with your dear life, and fight to preserve it bravely, like St. Peter Yu Tai Chol. For then you'll be like the five wise virgins who were gifted with eternal life. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Credo in unum Deum, Patrim Omnipotentem, Pactorium Celit Tere, Visibilium omnium et in visibilium, et in unum Dominum Iesum Christum, Pilium Dei Unigenitum, et ex Patrinatum Ante Onia Secula, Deum de Deo Lumen de Lumine, Deo Vero de Deo Vero, Genitum non factum consubstantialim patri, per quem omnia facta sunt, qui propter nos homines et propter nosum salutem, descende de celis. Et incarnatus est de Spiritus Santo ex Maria Virgine, et homo factus est. Crucifixus etiam pro nobis sub Pontio Pilato, passus et sepultus est, et resurrexit tertia die, secundum scripturas, et ascendit in celum, sere dexteram patris, iterum venturus est cum gloria, iudicari vivus et mortuos, quis regni non erit finis, et in spiritum sanctum dominum et vivificantem, qui ex patri pilio qui procedit, qui con patri et filio simula durator et con glorificator, qui locutus est per profetas, et unam sanctam catholicam et apostolicam ecclesiam, confitir unam baptisma in remissionem peccatorum, et expecto resurrectionem mortuorum, et vitam venturi seculi. Amen.
Benedictus is Domine Deus in the verse with a tua largitate cepimus panem. Quem tibio perimus fructum terio operis manum hominum, ex conobis piet panis bite. Siamo divinitatis consortis comunitatis nossi per iniatis esperti. Benedictus is Domine Deus in the Bersi, che da tua largitate cepimus binum, quod tibi uperimus, proctum bitis et operis manum hominum, ex conobis piet potos spiritalis. In spiritu militati et in animo contritus sesipiamo da te, et sic fiat sacrificio nostro in conspecto tuo plagi et tibi Domine Deus. Lava mi Domine benequitati mea, munda mi peccato mea. Orati Pratris at meum besum sacrificio incitabili fiat apo Dei in Patria Unipotentem. Susipiat Dominus sacrificio in demani bustuis, ad laudem e gloriam nomini sui, ad utilitatem goci nostrum, de tiesque ecclesia sui sancte. Lord, may the suffering and death of Jesus, your only Son, make us pleasing to you. Alone we can do nothing, but may this perfect sacrifice win us your mercy and love. Per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Dominus pobiscum et comi spiritu tu, sursum corda abemus ad Dominum, Gracias agamos, Domino Dei Nostro. Dignum et justum es. Bere dignum et justum es, ecum et salutare nos tibi semperi tu bicu gracias agere. Domini Sancti Pater Onipotens Eterna Deus, che per filii tui salutiferem passionem, Totus mundus sensus compidende, tui maestati acepit, domini pabilis crucis potentia, iudicium mundi et potestas emicat crucifixi, unde et nos domini con angelis et sancti universis, tibi compitemur in exultatione dicentes. Sanctus, 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 dominus Deis abau, plenus in celi terre gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine Domine, Hosanna in excelsis. Tegitur clementissimi pati per Iesum Christum plium tuum Dominum nostrum supplices rugamus ac petimus. O te accepta abeus et benedicas, ec dona ec munera ec sancta sacrificia elevata, In primis que tibi operimus, preclesia tua sancta catolica quam pacificare custodire donare et regere dineris. 
Totor biterar muna cum famul tu Papa nostru Francesco, erantistite nostru Maluli a Stepano Roberto, et onibus ortodoxis arti catholici et apostolici pidei cultoribus. Memento Domini Pamulorum Pamulorum Gatuarum. Quick recovery fracture, pelvic bones, for both baby to be born normal, almost spinal, amid spinal to surgery. E tomiam se constante in corum ti fides cognetes et nota de boccio. Procibus tibi operimus. Bel qui tibi operant ox sacrificium laudes, processu visci omnibus pro redemption in amarum suarum, prospe salutis in incolumitatis sui tibi qui redon bota sua et enna deio bibu et bero. Comunicantes et memoriam venerantes in primis gloriosa semper virgenes Mariae, genetrices deit Domini nosi Iesu Christi, seret beati ose pius dem virgenes ponsi, et beatorum apostolorum ac martyrum tuorum Petrit Pali Andrei, Iacobi Ioannes, Tomi Iacobi Pelipe, Bartolome, Matei, Simone, Sittadei, Lini Cleti Clementi, Sixti Corneli Cipriani, Lorenzi i Crisogni Ioanni sit Pali, Cosme e Damiani, et omium sanctorum tuorum, quorum merit is picibusci concedas, ut in onibus protectionis timoni amor auxilio. Angigit roblacionem servitutis nostri, serit cunti familia tui quesimus domini, a placatus acipias de esquinosus in tua pace disponas, ad que obitena damnazione no serpit in lectorum tuorum iubias gregine mirari. Com oblacionem tu deus in onibus quesimus, benedictam ad scriptam ratam racionabilim e citabilinque pace redignes, nobis corpus sanguis fiat delictissimi, filitui domini nosi Iesu Christi, Vipridie quam pateretu recepit panem, in sanctas ab venerabilis manus suas. Elibatis oculis in celum, ati deum patrin su unipotentem. Tibi gracias agens, benedixit pregit de ditqui discipulis suis dicens. Ac cipite et manducate ex hoc omnes. Hoc es enim corpus meum quod probobis tradetur.
simili modo pos concinatumis, a cipiensi tum preclarum calicem, in sanctas a venerabilis manas suas, item tibi gracias agens benedixit, didit qui discipulis suis dicens, ac cipitet bibitex eo omnes, ic es enim calic sanguinis mei, nobit eternitis dementi, qui probobis et promultis e pondetur, en remissionem peccatorum, hoc facite in meiam commemorationem. Mysterium Fidei, motem tuam annunciamus Domine, et tuam resurrectionin compitemur, donec venias. Unde et memoris Domini nos servi tui, serit plebs tua sancta isdem Christi pilitui Domini nostri, tam beati passiones nec non ita bimperes resurrectionis, serit in celos glorios ascensionis. Offerimus preclarum e stati tui de tuis donis ac datis, osciam puram osciam sanctam osciam immaculatam, panem sanctam vitae etene et calicem salutes perpetue, supraque propiciac sereno bulturis spicere dineris, accepta aberi sicuti accepta aberi dineatus es, munera pueriti iusti abel, et sacrificium paciaca nosi abre, quod tibi optolit sumus sacerdus tuus Melchisedec, sancton sacrificio immaculata mostium. Supplices derogamus onnipotens Deus, iubeg perperi per manus sancti angeli tui, in sublime altari tuum, in conspecto divino maestatis tue, quod corid axaltaris participazione, sacrosantum pilitui corpus et sanguinim sum serimus, Omni benedicione celesti gracia repliamur. Per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Memento etiam Domine pomolorum pomolarum cituarum. Qui non spicisserum con signu fide et domant in sumo pacis. Ipsis domini tonibus in Christo qui scentibus locum repigeri lucis et pacis in dulies de precamor. Nobis coque picatoribus pamulis tuis. De multitudine miserationum tuorum esperantibus parte maliquam. Suscitatem donari dineris. 
con tui sanctis apostolis martiribus, con Ioannis Stepano Mattia Barnaba, Ignacio Alexandro Marcellino Petro Felicitate Perpetua Agata, Lucia Agnete, Cecilia Anastasia, et onibus sanctis tuis intra corum nos consortium, non estimato meriti sit venie, quesimus largitur admite, per Christum Dominum nostrum, per quemic omnia Domine semper bona crea sanctificas, vivificas, benedice sit prestas nobis. Per ipsum et com ipso et in ipso, estivi Dei Patria onnipotenti, in unitati Spiritu Sancti, omnes honor et gloria, Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Precepti salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati audemus dicere. Pater noster qui es in celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimita nobis debita nostra, sicur et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Libera nos quesimus domini abonibus malis, da propices pacem in gebus nostris, utopi misericordia tui agiuti, et apicato simus semper liberi, et aboni perturbatione sicuri, Expectantes beatum spem, et adventum salvatoris nos, Iesu Christi. Beatum is regnum et potestas et gloria in secula. Domini Iesu Christi, cud existe apostolis tuis. Pacem relinco bobis, pacem meenda bobis, ne respicia spicata nostra, sed fidem eclesia tue, e anque secundum voluntatem tuam, Pacificare con donare dineris, che vivi se trenias in secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper bobiscum, et comi spiritu tuo. Ecco, mixio corpore sanguinis Domini nostri, Iesu Christi e ad accepienti bus nobis in vita eterna. Agnus Dei che toli spiccato mondi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei che toli spiccato mondi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei che toli spiccato mondi, dona nobis pacem. Domini Iesu Christi, per gli Dei vivi, qui spoluntà di Padre scoperante Spirito Santo per morte in tuo mondo e vivi per casti. Libera me per oxo santo in corpo e sangue in tuo mondo, buoni vos iniquitati vos mei su diversi smalis. Facmi tu vi sempre in erreri mandatis, a te non come separare per mitos. Ai night my salvare, a prima sui celestai, sbina o per trovare tuo mondo. Place them in the hands of men, the mediators of all grace in me of them by this presentation to the blood of Christ that are most holy. In you with all the masses celebrated throughout the world for the past 2,720 years. Preparation for our sins, deliverance of the holy souls in purgatory. Relief of the sick to die and to possess conversion in pedos and other sinners. Perseverance of the just. Unity of mind and heart of all our brothers and sisters. The sitting of the heaven and the heart. Then he loves the thing which is known as the matter of the name of Christ, so that no one of them will be lost in the name of the name of the Lord. The radical conversion will satisfy the name of the Lord. Total healing and deliverance of all those who participate in this in the Lord. The body of the six continents extended to those in the name of the Lord. We pray also.
Eche años de eche que todo el picato mundi. Beate que eche no mañe bocate sunt. Domine non sum digno sut intre sut tecto meum, se tanto dic verbo et sanabit or anima mea. Domine non sum digno sut intre sut tecto meum, se tanto dic verbo et sanabit or anima mea. Domine non sum digno sut intre sut tecto meum, se tanto dic verbo et sanabit or anima mea. Sanguis Christi, que si et me invita a mi terno. Bader si non potes tic al extransire, nisi viva milum fiat voluntas tua. For those of you who cannot receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. O Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle, where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O oh my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it, sanctify it. Render it like unto your own. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. We enjoin everyone to pray with us this prayer for protection for all of us affected by the coronavirus all over the world. Jesus Christ, a King of glory, has come in peace. God became man, and the Word was made flesh. Christ was born of a virgin. Christ suffered. Christ was crucified. Christ died. Christ rose from the dead. Christ ascended into heaven. Christ conquers. Christ reigns. Christ orders. May Christ protect us from all diabolical attacks, wars, calamities, especially from plagues, sicknesses leading to unprovided death. Christ went through their midst in peace, and the Word was made flesh. Christ is with us, with Mary. Flee, you enemy spirits, because the Lion of the generation of Judah, the Root of David, has won. Holy God, holy powerful God, Holy Immortal God, have mercy on us. Oremos. Lord, you have satisfied our hunger with the Eucharistic food. The death of your Son gives us hope and strengthens our faith. May his resurrection give us perseverance and lead us to salvation. Per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Dominus pobiscum, et cum spiritu tuo. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Ite misa es, Deo gratias. Hail 
Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, bind into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.